It's a big night at the Joe as the Wings are getting ready to honor one of their newest Hall of Fame members. Brad Galley live downtown for Sergei Fedorov tonight and joins us now with more. Hey, Greth. Hey, last night in Toronto, Sergei Fedorov and Nicholas Littstrom became the eighth and ninth members of the Hall of Fame class from that Red Wings 2002 Stanley Cup team. Really remarkable to think about how great of an era we had here in Hockey Town watching so many good teams, and especially that one. But tonight is all about Sergei. He made the trip from Toronto to Detroit. He's a general manager of a team in Russia, so tonight is all about celebrating him in the short window he has in North America. They're going to hand out some prints to fans, the first 20,000 inside the gate. But remember the electrifying way he played on the ice. Yes, Steve Eiserman was the heart and soul of that team. Nicholas Lidstrom was the steady back end. You had Dominic Hoschuk, Chris Osgood, Mike Vernon, the great goalies over the years. But it was Fedorov with the pizzazz, the white skates, the five goals against the Washington Capitals, who the Wings are, by the way, playing again tonight. Over time, the relationship between Red Wings fans and Sergei has healed since he tried to leave the team twice and ultimately did that second time. Last night in Sergei's Hall of Fame speech, he hit on his emotions for this city. Since day one, I arrived to Detroit area in Michigan. Everywhere I went, I received a warm welcome. I played there 13 seasons. We won three cups. I spent the best days of my life in this organization. We work hard, we play harder, and we party hard together. Yeah, and those parades are hard to forget. The first 20,000 people are going to get one of these prints. Really nice looking stuff. And coming up at 6 o'clock, Justin Rose is going to go inside the locker room. He talked with the guys that grew up in Michigan watching Sergey and now are playing for the Red Wings. Pretty cool stuff coming out of those guys' mouths. Reporting live from the Joe, Brad Galley, 7 Action News. Another moment for us too, Brad. Wow, yeah. great to see him back. Thank you.